Welcome back to Americana Outdoors. We're joining Wade Middleton and Clark Wendland on Lake Somerville, Texas for some early spring fishing. One of their absolute favorite times to be on the water. You know, one thing I always kind of pay attention to, I'm talking about all over the state of Texas is, is you know, where fish are biting, where's a really great fishery at a certain point in time. And what I heard was, is I heard Lake Somerville was really good. So I had the opportunity to come over here and I just, I mean, all I did was just fish shallow cover. And what I really wanted to do though was come over here during the spawn and see if I could catch a big one. I, I tell you what, I, I love any day, but when you get this time of year, you know, right around the spawn and you get these warm days, you got that warm wind kind of blowing on you, you know they ought to be biting. <laughs> when you walk outside some days, it just feels like a day and then when you walk outside this morning, you're like, they're chomping. <laughs> they're chomping. <laughs> And you know if you're fishing in a tournament on a day like today and you don't have them, you're falling in the standings every moment. That's exactly right. Okay, well, there's an island right there. It's, it's pretty much way over there. I mean, it's about five miles probably. I'd run straight to that. Fish the, and start on the very right point of it. <laughs> he, just got, he came totally airborne. <laughs> he did. Well, that was a pretty good fish. That was a really good fish. <laughs> God. Well, really I mean, sometimes that's just going to happen. You're going to have them, you know, you're fishing thick cover and, and you're going to get a bite like yeah. that and you're not going to get him out of it. Yeah. I, I like to use, you know, fluorocarbon in this. I don't want to use the braided line. A lot of people probably think, you know, why not braid here? But it just digs into this. You're going to get hung. And I totally agree, that's a good point. You know, one thing I always have thought is, I feel like if I can get away cover-wise when I'm fighting the fish with fluorocarbon, then that's probably what I prefer yeah. to use. Yeah. And most people probably go straight to braid. If it's thick stuff, we need braid, yeah. but you can get them out of this right here. You got some enough broken stuff. I love to use braid in the grass, but if I can get away with it, like you said there, that's what I want to go to. Get him, Wes. Boy, he was there the whole time. <laughs> That's a start, isn't it? That's what? a start. You said we'd catch one over there. That's a start. I was hoping he's going to be about a nine pounder, and then you could have ragged on me a little harder for letting him swim like nine feet out from the reeds. Well, you have to go about halfway through it. Get him, Wade. <laughs> Personally, I love getting together with Wade and fishing, and we both like the shallow water kind of hand-to-hand -hand combat flipping. It's always something that we both do, and we both enjoy doing it. We like being in the front together. He'll give me just enough room. You know, he makes a flip, and he'll give me enough room where I can make a flip behind him. It, to me, it's always been a fun day. We've always had fun fishing together. Got him. That, that sucker came up and He came got up and it. ate it, didn't he? He sure did. See, and those other bites I've had have been, have been like that the last couple. That one, I mean, it was coming, you know, up bit. over something yep. and he bit it. I mean, he swirled. They ought to be biting. I mean, we're just <laughs> right before front. Water temperature 60. I mean, they ought to be coming right now. Yeah, I think it's been pretty good. We've only been out here a little over an hour, probably of true fishing time. And I don't know how many bites we've had, but we've had quite a few. Quite a few, yeah. 